I'm still on season one of Alex. <gasps> the Secret World of Alex Max. I got the hiccups, so bear with me. I legitimately have the hiccups. Today is May 29th, 2018, and week three. <laughs> well, it technically started on Memorial Day. I just didn't have time because my mom was around. Not sleeping to say <laughs> week three. <laughs> So, I'll be watching that today. I'm also got, <coughs> as you know from the clip from at my grandpa just day, he had the channel for Grace Under Fire. So, I decided <coughs> I'm going to look up Grace Under Fire on Google and get all the pictures <coughs> and stuff. And then maybe someday go to my Tumblr and make an <coughs> about page of him. If you go to my Tumblr... Stacy's Famous People on Tumblr. <laughs> if you need a link, let me know and I'll put it down below. But, but she, um, but what I'll be doing on Tumblr, oh, if you go to the link page, it'll have all the pages, all the about pages right there. You click one and boom. The <coughs> fire on my Facebook group page, Why Cats Famous People, so check it out, <coughs> out there. If there's any movie or TV shows you think I should make an about page for, let me know in the comments down below. A secret I can tell you about Grace Under Fire is the baby that's in Grace Under Fire is the Spouse Brothers. And if you've ever seen the movie Motocross on Disney, the bully guy, Vince Van, I can't remember his name, he plays Quinn's. Oh, Quentin on Grace Under Fire, so he's the oldest kid. Anyways, I didn't realize how much Grace sounded like a dude, but, and then my mom's phone's going, the phone's going off, so I gotta go deal with that, but that's my day. I am so sick and tired of damn scammers calling my mom's phone. They even have our area code. I mean, come on. It just sickens me. It's like, if it's not, now these days, it's like, if it's not programmed into a phone, we shouldn't answer it. That's why we should program, like, businesses that we call all the time in our phone just so we know it's them. But cause this is a recording of, of so-and-so calling you about your current credit card. Um, no scammer, you're not going to get our credit card number. Um, if there's a problem with our credit card, because we ain't dumbasses, we know that they will call us, and a real person will be on the line. Bed really early last night, about 11 p.m., because I was so tired, I couldn't keep my eyes open. Too long. <coughs> I know I've been making these way too long, and they've been in three parts, and I'm sorry about that. I will film, um... Saturday and S Sunday when I get my hair done and when we go to Sam's Club. So, just to give you an update of what you might be seeing in this in this vlog or maybe in the next part, just depends. And then on Monday I will try and get them up and then I go to work and then no more vlogging. <laughs> now, if you want me to do more day off vlog. Let me know in the comments down below, and if you want me to, I can do weekend vlogs and call them weekend vlogs. And if I do anything on the week, I can do what I've always done if I'm doing anything on the weekends, vlog it. Or just say, hey, this is my day off vlog. This is what I'm doing, even if I don't go out. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll start doing that. If I get five people saying, yes, do that. Then I'll do it. If I is something I'm not putting in my daily vlogs anymore is if I go to my if I go to Twitch and someone's live and they go live gaming, <coughs> I won't put their game in my vlogs unless I use my camera to vlog it. Um, if I get if I make clips of their live stream, then I'll put it in their own um, video called mixed gaming uh on tw 
which live stream. And then it'll be just a mixture of my friend Pig Gaming, my friend Jay Gaming, my friend um, when Charles games, Charles Trippy, when Fousey, when Strawberry Jin Stra <coughs> Strawberry, Burry, when H-Bomb, you know, all these people go live, then I'll post about it. But if they go live on YouTube, I'll just talk about it in a clip and tell you guys to go to their YouTube channel and check it out to play Minecraft on YouTube and then CSGO and Overwatch on and on uh, Twitch and then delete his account used to do the cube stuff like that and now plays Fortnite on YouTube that is that one tomahawk if you still care go check him out he doesn't really care much about his channel or about his chat or talking to people he just does it for fun and then when he's done with his live streams he puts them unlisted he has lots of copyrighted music don't know why but if you ever see him live go ch <coughs> check him out and tell him that you still care and I'm gonna go de deal with this stupid fucking hiccup didn't realize there was two people that played uh, Quitten on Grace Under Fire, so I just wanted to let you know that there is. But the younger Quitten on Grace Under Fire is the guy that's in, I'm pretty sure, about his about to Little Giants, I believe. You see the kitty kitty? Hmm. Anywho. Um, something I forgot to talk about is yesterday, on the way home, we did go by the gravesite, or not, it was, was it, no, it was, no, it was Sunday, we went by the gravesite Sunday, and, no, it was Monday, or maybe it was Sunday night, I can't remember, but one of those days, we went to the gravesite, and to put a flower, a fake flower down, because they like to steal flowers there at the gravesite, which sucks, I know, and a dad sign. And my mom was like, I told, my nephew was with us, and I told my nephew, I said, hey, look, I was at this one, I was at my uncle's gravesite to see what they did to it and what flowers are on there, and, and look, stupid-ass battery died. I feel like I was saying, my nephew came, and I was looking at my uncle's gravesite, and my cousin, or my nephew was looking at me weird, and I said, I said, this is your, I don't know if you ever got to meet him, I don't know, but this is our uncle, this is your uncle, and he goes, I already have an uncle, and I said, no, I know, but this is also your uncle, this is your great uncle who passed away, this is where he's buried, and my mom's like, oh my god, why did you tell him that? All you're gonna do is confuse him. He never met him. So why does it matter? And I'm looking at my mom like, and I said, because that's family. That's his great uncle. He needs to know. That's his uncle. He has the right to know. He's family. How dare she tell me what I can and can't tell my nephew? It's not going to confuse my nephew. It didn't even confuse him at all. When I told him he's your great uncle, he goes, oh, okay. How was that confusing for him? How was he going on and on and on and confusing and talk? Did he talk about him 20, the whole time? No. Like, come on. So, my question to you that I want you to comment down below is did I have the right to tell him that his great uncle passed because he's family even though my nephews never met him probably or or was my mom correct to not tell him also it's like going to the visitations and and seeing my oldest cousin well yeah 
and saying and her not telling her kids, hey, even though we never met you, your little girl, even though we never met her little girl, it's not like she's going to tell her little girl, oh, by the way, you know, what I'm trying to say is, when it's not like, it's like her not introducing us, basically. Her saying, oh, this is so-and-so and so-and-so. Not saying, oh, this is your aunt and cousin. It's like telling the kids who don't remember us or never met us, not tell them who we are, even though they have the right to know. That's why when she introduced us to her kids, she introduced us as aunt and cousin, because that's who we are. So that's why I don't understand why mom got mad about that. It's like, so what? He has the right to know. Anyways, I just wanted to say something about that and get your guys' opinion on it and stuff. Like, my mom was always telling me, don't tell him this or don't tell him that. Me, 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 me. Like, hey, you're stupid and I know you're going to tell him if I don't tell you not to tell him. So I'm going to tell you not to tell them. I'm not stupid, Mom. I know what to say and what not to say to, to my family members. You don't need to treat me like I'm stupid and I don't know. So irritating. If you ever, if you ever want to see what Paris is like, or Disneyland in Paris is like, watch What's Up Words with Carly Styles and Jackson because they go and they show us. And then over there is all the magazines that my grandma has been waiting to give us since December on my dad's side.